is already half burned with this. What is going on? I'm so nervous. Houston, we have a little bit of a problem. And this is how the doll turned out. The moment of truth. Hello from Bangalore, my name is Ivana. Namaste. Mera naam Ivana hai. Did you guys miss that? <laughs> Today I'm doing something new. Because I'm based now in India, I definitely want to learn how to cook Indian food and I thought let me share this journey with you. I am a little bit nervous about this because cooking Indian food is very hard, making cooking videos is very hard. So I would really, really appreciate your feedback. One, if you like these series. Two, if you like the editing of the video. I don't know if the sound is too hollow. And three, on my Indian cooking skills. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this for the next eight weeks. So please subscribe to my channel to see all of those videos. So today we're gonna start out with the basics, the staple of Indian food, dal. Now, my flatmate Nishta is an absolute phenomenal cook. Her dal is literally one of the two best dals I have ever tasted in India, and I've eaten a lot of dal. So yesterday I asked her for the recipe. Look at this, one and a half of this. One and a half bowl of this. Okay, let's put this cup here, this yeah. one. One and a half bowl. Dal, okay. Three to four tomatoes. Three, three is good. Three is good? Yeah. Three is good. Three tomatoes. Three medium sized onions. Three medium sized onions. And right now I'm going to try to make Nishta's dal. She's coming home today obviously and let's see if I can make her proud and if I can make you guys proud. Let's cook Indian dal. I got Nishta's recipe here. I also went grocery shopping, almost forgot to buy the, <laughs> the fresh curry leaves. One thing very specific about Indian food, most of the ingredients have to be fresh and Indian people are so specific about this that it's non-negotiable to have like old curry leaves. We have some here. And I was like, nah, I'm not taking that chance. I'm getting fresh curry leaves. Over here, I already uh, washed and soaked the dal and already pre-chopped some vegetables. So we got the three onions here sliced. We got some roughly chopped tomatoes and finely chopped garlic. Here are the curry leaves. And obviously I'm gonna be using Nishta's masala box. The pressure cooker is ready. Let's do this. I'm not joking when I say I'm nervous about this. That's why it took me so long to get started with this. Indian cooking is so hard. What does the recipe say? Wash down soak, put in cooker and add two and a half bowls of water. So I used one and a half of these bowls of down, washed it, soaked it, putting it in a cooker now. This is also very different than I'm used to because in the Netherlands, we would put all of the ingredients together and not cook the dal separately. Put a thumbs up if you're already liking these videos. So this is a mistake I made last time. I cooked with tap water. Now, we didn't get sick or anything, but it is really better to just cook with filtered water. So I'm gonna get some filtered water now. Okay, two and a half bowls. Something else I have to put? Yes. One spoon of salt. Look, I love this little masala box. One of my biggest fans gave me one as a gift at the Mumbai meetup, but that one is still in Mumbai because I couldn't carry it with me. Oh, so I'm just gonna be using this just now. One spoon of salt and half a spoon of turmeric. Okay, stir in the flavors. Previous to coming to India, I never cooked with a pressure cooker, but I have to say it is an absolutely phenomenal invention. Cooking the dal for one fast whistle and one slow whistle, which means one on high flame and then simmer it and then one on low flame. Moving on to the masala, putting some oil in the pan. Oh, I think this is too much oil. Okay. For the masala, we're gonna put in the... Wait, let me do it like this. See, this is a tricky part with making a cooking video by yourself. You have to do everything, the camera work and the cooking. So got the garlic here, adding the onions. You need to saute this until it's light brown and then start adding in the masalas. This is the part that is definitely the same as the Bollywood reaction videos. You can vote what I'm gonna make next. Now please be gentle on me. 
Don't give me like two difficult recipes. Also, non-veg recipes are out of the question. I am vegetarian, so that's not happening. Two things that I definitely do want to make, but that's something I want to graduate on. One, rajma, obviously, which is pretty hard to make. It's the Punjabi dish with kidney beans and also chole bature because I've heard that is so hard to make and that is definitely gonna be the last wish. I'm gonna do eight videos first, so let me know down in the comments below which dish I should make next. And if anybody else already mentioned your dish, please put a thumbs up for that comment so I know like what your most requested dish is for me to make next week. I'm so nervous. Please, please be gentle with me. Please let me make like, easy stuff. Oh, in case you're wondering, Ivana, what happened to your lip? A cow and a monkey. It's a long story, man. Okay, something is actually going wrong. I think I didn't properly close the lid of the pan because there's some water coming out here. I think this is definitely not meant to happen and now I'm seriously nervous. Like, it went well every time I used it and now this is happening. What is going on? It's gone. I really, really hope that was the end of it. Now, moving on to the masala. So the onions and the garlic are light brown. We're gonna add in the spices. In the masala box, let me just see how much I need to get. Woohoo, one whistle. Okay, put it on simmer and wait for one more whistle. I think this should be good. So this should be okay. Let me turn off the fire. Boom. Okay, Houston, we have a little bit of a problem. I am supposed to use green chili, but I didn't. I thought we had it at home, but we don't. We only had red chili, so. I'm not taking any chances, so I just have nishta. And she's saying use the two green from these. Okay, look at her. She's like such a trooper. Thank you, babe. Okay, added the chilies. Now, moving on with the spices. We got two little spoons of jeera or cumin seeds. Two spoons of mustard seeds. Also, the curry leaves. There we go. Okay. You know what's useful? To turn on the fire again. See, I was doing other stuff. And then, oh gosh, okay, this is also not smart. There it is. And that's the tough part of making cooking videos like doing everything at the same time without burning your food so I'll stay for another few minutes something else Nisha taught me is how to prepare the tamarind what are we doing with the tamarind? and uh, this much water okay just this much. cool okay once it's done yeah you will start mushing it yeah once you mush yeah these things these hard pieces will come out there will be few seeds in. This needs to go to mush and I need to remove all the threads and the hard bits. Mm. Adding in the roughly chopped tomatoes. I haven't seen much dal recipes with this, but that's why I was so happy with Nishtha because I really, really like it. The tomatoes, need to add some salt. Oh, there's the little spoon. Let me see how much. One and a half, okay. Okay, no, half. Half. One red chili. One red chili powder. One spoon of coriander powder. One spoon of garam masala. And one and a half of sambar masala. So this is one, there we go. Saute until the tomatoes go to mush. I think I'm already half burning this, because I'm so slow. I hope I did well with the tamarind pulp. We will see when the queen tastes her dish. That's a chili. And then add it to the dough, which is now 
geguckt. Komm rein. Wir können gut. Yeah, there we go. Guck da. Looks good. I'm gonna add a massage to the dough. The dough is definitely too thick, so Nishta already told me like you can put in some water. And then cook it without the lid. Let me add a little bit of extra water because we'll definitely need that. The dough is pretty good, but it's not like that runny. Either way, I don't like runny dough, I have to say. I like it more thick. You know how some people make it super runny? I really don't like that. Okay, this definitely has to cook a little bit more. And this is how the dough turned out. I think we need to cook it for just a little bit more. Wow, camera won't even focus. Yeah, I think we need to cook it just a little bit more because it's still a little bit too grainy, but we'll see when the queen comes home. But the taste is already absolutely amazing. Even though I say that myself, <laughs> I hope she likes it too. Maybe it's just a little bit too salty. We'll see. Right now, I would give myself an eight for this dough because it's still not properly cooked and it's a little bit too salty. But let's see what Indian the queen say. has arrived. What do you? Oh, you're already adding salt. <laughs> just salt? Yeah. Otherwise, the flavor is okay. No. Okay. But how did you know it needed salt? The time has come for the tasting committee to give me their verdict. Vivek, are you ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> the moment of truth. It's all good, don't worry. <laughs> well, you have to taste first. You have to taste first. Perfect. Are you serious? Yeah. For real? Yeah. What what grade would you give me between one and ten? Because you like thick, so I think huh? it's just a little watery for your taste. Yeah, for me it's a bit watery, yes. But otherwise it's good. So what grade? Perfect. Ten. What, 10? Seriously? Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah. What? <laughs> wow! I'm so happy I didn't even hear what you said. So <laughs> this is a bit too watery for me. I like it more thick, but still it's okay. Okay, Vivek. So fruit? Yes. And you can make it look Yeah. <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any any recommendations? I see I see some doubt in your eyes. Can you cook in your wedding? No no no. This is <laughs> no. Is it, is it the same as yesterday when I said okay, say ho bye? No, the Nishta did the pumpkin, like she finished it off. But pumpkin is good. No. Oh, really nice. Okay, on a on a scale of one to ten, what grade would you give it? I'll give you a better answer. So I just don't critique your food. I it, finish it. <laughs> no, but I need to know what grade. And I need to know the feedback. Otherwise, I cannot get better. Like seriously, get over your shyness. I'll give it a nine. A nine? Okay. So what what could have been done better, in your opinion? I mean, that is a bit. Uh, it's a little uh, bland. It's a little bland. It's a little so bland. what so we? So more salt or? Indian taste buds are more uh, accustomed to salt. Mm, okay. But it's really good. Okay. So more spices. A little. Hmm, okay, okay, I'll take it. What did you just say? I'm what? taking this to, for lunch tomorrow. Damn girl, My that's like done. the biggest compliment ever. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. And thank you for teaching me. My guruji. Yeah. <laughs> My food guru. <laughs> Woohoo! I can cook down apparently. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed cooking. My first Indian dish traditional dal. If you like the video, please put a thumbs up and don't forget to suggest me dishes down in the comments below or upload the dishes that you want me to make. Obviously, I'm going to make the most popular ones. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!